It's time for math routines. Try to find a piece of paper and something to write with. If you can't, that's okay. You can always just solve in your head or you solve using your fingers. Remember, you can pause the video anytime you need to if you need more time to solve. Hey, first grade. I can't wait to do some math with you today. The first thing we're going to do is practice counting by 100s. Our first number is 252. The next number is 352. If you have a piece of scrap paper handy, try to write down the next five numbers in this counting by hundreds pattern. If not, you can just try to count out loud. Let's count together one more time. 252, 352. What comes next in the pattern? Good, this went from two groups of 100 to three groups of 100, so next would be, good, four groups of 100. I know since I'm counting by the hundreds, the tens and the ones just stay the same. 452. What comes next? Good, 552. Notice that 52 stays the same every time because I'm just adding a big square of 100 each time I count up. 252, 352, 452, 552, next is, good, 652, then, good, 752, and last in the pattern, 852. Nice job. Way to go. Our mouse made it to his rocket ship. Next one. We want to get the mouse to the pirate ship. Read the first number. Get ready. Go. 736. Next number. 636. Hmm. Is this getting bigger? By 100 or smaller by 100? How many groups of 100 are in 736? Right, 7. How many hundreds are in 636? Good, 6. So when I go from 7 to 6, do I get bigger by 1 or smaller by 1? Right, I get smaller by 1. So this pattern is counting down. 700, then 600, so next would be, good, 536. Count with me, 736, 636, 536, next is, good, 436. You're figuring out that the tens and the ones just stay the same each time. 36, 36, 36, 36. What number comes next as I count down by hundreds? Good job, 336. And last is? Good, 236. Let's see if we're right. Nice job, first grade. Now we're going to continue our practice with counting patterns. Let's take a look at our first pattern and first ask ourselves, what is it counting by? Read this pattern with me, get ready, go. 340, 350, hmm, what's getting bigger? The ones, the tens, or the hundreds? Yeah, I noticed the tens getting bigger as well. In this number, how many tens do we have? Good, there are four. What about in 350? Nice, there are five. So I can tell this pattern is getting bigger by 10. 340, 350. See if you can figure out what comes next in my pattern. Get to work.
Let's see if you're right. Count with me, starting at 340. 340, 350, 360, 370, and 380. Nice job, first grade. Let's try another one. Let's start by reading this pattern together. Our first number is, good, 765. Next is 775. Hmm, what's changing? The ones, the tens, or the hundreds? I agree, the tens place is changing. The fives stay the same in the ones place. And for now, the hundreds stay the same in the hundreds place. But in this number, 765, how many tens do I have? Right, six. And how many do I have in 775? Yeah, seven tens. Are we counting up by tens or down? I agree, the tens are getting bigger. We went from six tens to seven tens. Fill in the next three numbers, get to work. Let's count together and see if you're right. 765, 775, 785, 795, and 805. Nice job. We know when we go from nine tens to 10 tens, 10 tens is really just a group of exactly 100. So I move that 100 over to the hundreds place. And then I go back to zero tens and start over. Last one. Start counting with me. Get ready, go. 230, 235. Hmm, what's changing here? The ones, the tens, or the hundreds? Yeah, nice catch. It's the ones. In 230, how many ones do I have? Exactly, zero. And what about in 235? Right, five ones. So what is this pattern counting by? What does this sound like? 230, 235. What am I counting by? I think you're right. I'm counting by fives. It's like at school when we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Fill in what comes next in my pattern. Get to work. All right, let's see if you're right. 230, 235. Next is 240, good. Then 245, and last. You got it, 250. Nice job counting that counting, counting by fives pattern. A little more counting practice work. This time you're gonna be more on your own. Here we go. Get your pencil and paper ready. Count with me, starting at the first number, go. 562, 561. What comes next in this pattern? Get to work. I think you probably figured out this pattern is counting by ones. I know because the ones change from a two to a one. So is it getting bigger by one or smaller by one? That's right, smaller by one. I go from two ones to one one. So what number would be next? Nice, 560. Let's count down together. 562, 561, 560. What's next as I count down by ones? 
you got it, 559. Because if I'm at 60 and I take away one, I go to 59. Last in the pattern would be, good, 558, you got it. Next pattern. Count with me starting at the first number, 754, 654. What's changing in this pattern? Right, the hundreds. I notice the tens and the ones are staying at 54. Only the hundreds are changing. See if you can figure out my next three numbers. Go. Let's see if you're right. Counting at the first number, 754, 654, 554, 454, 354. Nice job. This pattern was counting up or down by 100. That's right, down by 100. One more. 950, 940. What is this counting by? Yeah, and is it up or down? You got it, fill in the next three numbers, go. If you said counting down by tens, you're exactly right. 950, 940, 930, 920, and 910. Nice job with your counting patterns, first grade. Now we're gonna do some quick 10 more 10 less um, practice, only with bigger numbers this time. The first number we're going to use is 344. What's 10 more than 344? I know I can make a really easy move on the 100 chart, or also just add one more 10 stick to this number. How many 10s are in 344? Right, four sticks of 10. So if I add one more stick of 10 to four, I get, right, five. Five sticks of 10, which would make my number what? You got it, 354. Okay, what if I'm at 344 and I take away a 10 stick? Instead of four 10 sticks, how many would I have? Three 10 sticks, exactly, which would be what number? Good, 334. Let's try another one. We're gonna be working in the 500s this time. My number's going to be 539. So what's 10 more than 539? Instead of three 10 six, I would have, right, four 10 six. So what would my number be? You got it, 549. What about if I'm at 539 and I take away a 10 six or do 10, 10 less? What number would I have? You got it, 529. All right, one more. Let's see if I can trick you. We're gonna be working in the 900s. My number's 958. What's 10 more than 958? You got it, 968. One more 10 stick. What if I took away a 10 stick from 958? 10 less would be? Nice work, first grade, 948, you got it. Now we're gonna watch a really fun video on how to practice the strategy of doubles plus one. Right after that, we'll practice our doubles plus one flashcards. Enjoy. Another tip for you. Well, what do I look like? Your waitress or something? Huh? Oh, well, my my name's Flo now. No, my name is Rat. Oh, oh sorry. Look, <laughs> never mind that. This is a math tip. A math tip. Yeah, straight up. Oh, I love math, especially when it means I'm adding stuff to my pockets. <laughs> no, no, look, just check it out. I call this seeing doubles. <laughs> 
See in doubles. Yeah. I do that every time I smack my head. <laughs> well, you maybe uh, you shouldn't be doing that. Look, look over here. Watch this, huh? So whenever you see two numbers that are the same added together, it's called doubles. Like here, two plus two. Two plus two equals four. Good, you got it. Now here's the thing. If you got two numbers where one of the numbers is only one more than itself, then just double the numbers and add one. Let me show you. Here, two plus two equals four, but what would the answer be if the problem was two plus three equals? Oh, oh I got this, five. Cause two plus three equals two plus two plus one. Yeah, that's it. Just pretend that you're adding two plus two, then add the one in later. I think I got it. Okay, let's try this one. Three plus four. It's, um, you got any cheese around here? I'm getting hungry. No, 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 now just focus, Rat, okay? Okay, all right, yeah, okay. Three plus four. First, I pretend it's just three plus three, which is six. And then I add one more, which is seven. That's it, you rock, Rat. Here, let's try another one. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. Good. Now, what is eight plus nine? Okay, I turn the second number into its double or twin, and then I add the twins plus just one more makes 17. You got it. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I bet you do too, kids. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't forget to download the worksheet and practice, practice, practice. You too, Rad, okay? Okay. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you, Rad. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm going to be seeing double for a while. Oh, Rad, be careful. Now that we learned our cool strategy for doubles plus one, let's practice our doubles plus one flashcards. Here we go. First one. Good. Nine, because we know it's really just four plus four plus one more. Good. Thirteen. Six plus six. Twelve plus one more. Nice. Five. Good, nine, because it's really just four plus four is eight, plus one more. Good, five. You got it, 17. Good, 17. Nice, 13. Good, seven, because it's really just three plus three is six, plus one more. Good, seven. Nice, 11. Good, 15. Nice, 11. Today we're gonna finish with playing Guess the Winning Number. Let's check out our first clue. I have two digits. Hmm, so we know this number will be smaller than 100, but 10 or bigger. So it's between 10 and 100. I think we need more clues. I have nine ones. Okay, interesting. So it could be 19 or 29 or 39 or 49. Okay, well that narrows it down a little. Any guesses? We'll see if you're right. Next clue. I am greater than 20. Well, I guess it can't be 19. Any other guesses? Make sure that number has nine ones. Last one, my tens total 60 plus 20. What's 60 plus 20? Six sticks of 10 plus two sticks of 10. Well, that's right, eight sticks of 10 is 80. So 80 and then nine ones. What number would that be? Let's see if you're right. The winning number is 89. Nice job if you got that correct. Thanks for doing math with me today, first grade. I'll see you next time.